Welcome to the new right, version. So I just want okay, to talk a little bit about the uh, 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 logged in or you can show you how to use it. Here There's really a lot of here's here's changes right behind the scenes. Still the latest things in print that I don't have the time to get into all those things. I'm going to talk about some UI differences here. Use that user account to download it. It might be a little bit highly recommended. It may be too different, but if you really look at it, it's not that different. The first thing you're going to notice when you first sign in, so let's say you log in and log in with the logger. A cleaner and unbound boxing mode services. Uh, uh, really how the heck do I do this? But we are partly doing some like tablet cool touch stuff. inspired and partly like cloud and automatic pulling down some data. Some data so I'm just getting it records a lot cleaner. And and other kinds of information. That would say yes, it's not a free 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 So we do require the miles to log. So we want that to see a kind of similar name. Whether you're using a smartphone the first time or apps or tablet that you put in your computer future. So you can use this. So that's kind of some of the reason we did it. Don't freak out about this. And you'll also notice that if you don't already have one, you kind of want to change. Click on sign up and you screen that and by the default it's going to fill your entire screen on here with an answer. That's kind of a Windows 8 and that is all. Um, to if you don't like that, you will. You do have buttons where you can, I uh, am, you know, minimize it and turn it back automatically. into a, a so regular say, window if that makes you uh, comfortable. Super timing. Um, so don't be afraid to do that and put it how you like it. And I'm going to click finish down here. I'm going to resize So the other thing is, as you get into these and um, sub menus uh, so then now I mean you want to pay attention to so before is I get started into things, an actual um, bottom bar I'm just kind of down here about if that's present that's really like your action so over here on the, uh, the right side of the screen something under recent screen, means is where you page recent I'm going to export this file and open it because this is the first that's where all those kind of action type buttons are going to be it's going to give you a list of all the means you've recently down here you can save and have erased have file save and add another app that you'd like to open you can go from next browse for me over here previous and so that's kind of what you're going to look for down here bottom bar so always pay attention to that if people I know have, open have missed and, that uh, and, and open it and I would tell them they're like oh um, duh. simple enough but you know all these buttons over here under blank me um, are what's going to allow you to create a blank template of a um, and then and so you're going to walk through some of these 99 percent of the time and you're going to see this set up the back the button up some here default events and so that's your kind of your bailout button your down here at the bottom is so you can import does what you think it things so it's back download some miles in this case I'm going to edit an athlete Online and I'm like, oh, never mind. That. I don't want to edit this app. Um, other registration um, services I'm such as athletic.net will give you an article file, those changes. Uh, which is our okay. kind of proprietary um, format. Same thing goes. It's, uh, it's really, really pretty much across the board. So I'm to, to the same right screen. To. So other um, I've got companies have integrated with that. So you might have an article file. Here. High tech um, database. This is a little bit tricky. High tech is um, so those are really uh, the things to look for. Locked in most of it versions is very similar. So if you either have an unlocked um, high tech meat file, you know, meat database, with or like less high tech 2.0, it'll work. If you um, have high tech more three of these icons, high tech four, and more like a monotone like by default, rather than all these work. different crazy colors, you'll be able to figure out how to unlock um, it. And I think that you'll find it. And then and finally, use using a template, and now allow you to so create a new meet don't be intimidated from an, another. Oh, and one last file. thing: so uh, have last year's meet. The other set thing that's very important to notice is up here at the top. As a template, you see this race you tab has some has this default down arrow, and, and that's uh, indicating that you can expand them. Like so, some of those uh, advanced options that you're used to are up here. And then finally, before I close out this video, down there at the bottom. So just click on this race tab preferences, and, uh, and uh, that uh, is where you, you can click in and get into some of the preferences and, uh, and, like and change some things. And then finally, the way race across the works, top, um, you also the see what's kind of the base of a folder. notification some bar on your school networks have had problems. And so if you have different things running, to, uh, some um, documents, then you're going to see those little icons up here indicating that. So right now, this icon is indicating that. So with this, you can change the tab servers running, which I won't get into too much. Any folder you want that would race tab will use as the app folder. And if you have FAT interface going on, like you're running a link system, you're interfacing with it. So that's um, all for this video. I'll do there. some more videos. If you're integrating with uh, IPCO do some stuff chip timing, the you're going to see a little IPCO icon up there to, inter in it, to indicate that. So that's like a notification bar. And then I guess the last thing over here, you have this little help icon here. Um, that's just going to bring up this little help screen and tell you what version you're running uh, and all that kind of stuff. So um, hope you like it. I hope this maybe helps you get your feet under you a little bit.